G'day YouTube, welcome to my channel, 1MJ here. Well, as the sign says, where do I think the biggest gains will come from in this next bull run? Right here. I think it's going to be in DeFi. I think that's really the space that people need to be looking at at the moment for where the biggest gains will be. But there are some things that we need to watch out for when we're going into the DeFi space as well. But anyway, let's jump into some things to look at in the market at the moment. So if we have a look at today, market cap still sitting around that kind of $260 billion mark. It gets up around the 263 and then drops back down to 260. So we've really been kind of ranging for quite a while now, dropping between 9,500 and kind of 9,000. It's even dropped down into the 8,000s once or twice and we're up around the 10,000s, but really kind of this 9,100, 9,200 range, we've been there for a while now. As you can see, seven days up and down around that kind of range. But if we have a look at the market, it's mainly red with only a couple of really small gainers, at least in the sort of top few. That's basically what there is. But what I want to have a look at is it looks pretty red at the moment. We go over to here and we're going to go to the DeFi space. Now, still a fair bit of red, don't get me wrong. Of course, when uh, Bitcoin goes down, it tends to drag a lot of things down with it. But Kyber Network up 23% in the last 24 hours. OX, OKX, I think it is. Uh, up 7%, you know, Bancor, 11%, Thorchain, 6%, uh, Just, 15.79, Octus, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, 20%, Jarvis Network, 27%. So even when everything's really kind of going downwards, DeFi is just charging along. And even some of the other good projects, they haven't gone down by too much. Now again, I talk about Compound the other day. It had such a pump that it was course it was going to retrace. That's just the way it is. So I expect Compound to continue to go down for a little while. But Kyber Network, that is on such a run. And to be honest, I see DeFi just having a cracking bull run. But the one thing that concerns me is that if one of these kind of bigger major players has a bug in the system and it finds out that DeFi has some serious faults in it, that unfortunately could ruin the entire market. So there is risks uh, going into DeFi, don't get me wrong. There's risks going into cryptocurrencies in general, full stop. It's a new industry, you know, it hasn't really been around long enough to really cement itself, it may, except maybe sort of Bitcoin, but even that, it's only like 11 years old. So my uh, feeling is that DeFi is where it's gonna be at. And I have invested into DeFi and now again, most of my holdings are in Bitcoin number one, Ethereum number two, and then XRP number three. But after that, I've really gone, uh, I wouldn't say heavy, but I, you know, I've invested a bit into DeFi. And these are some of the projects that I really like. So let's go number one, uh, Synthetics Network. And it's not my number one pick, it's just number one, that's the way it's come up. But it is my second best performing uh, asset out of all the ones that I have, including out of Ethereum and Bitcoin. So I really like Synthetics uh, Network and the exchange and the uh, minting and all the rest of it. It's taken me a little while to kind of wrap my head around the process and I will do a video on how it works, but this is my second best performer. Uh, I'm really happy with how this is going and you know, you could kind of kick yourself if I had to put all my money into Synthetics, I would be absolutely laughing right now. But that's all right, I still put uh, some in uh, and it's doing quite well. So yeah, this is uh, one of my favorites and it's also uh, an Australian company. Being Australian, I wanna support my own Aussie, 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 oi, 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 that's the way we go. So yeah, synthetics is something that I really like. Uh, if you're thinking of getting into it, do your own research. And again, they've already been on a bit of a pump but we're still very early in this next cycle. I think there's still going to be some really good gains to be made uh, by the time we get to the top of the next bull run. But again, do your own research. Don't take my word for it. You need to find out for yourself whether it's something for you. So I really like Synthetics Network. Let's go to Kyber Network. Now Kyber is my number one performer, but it's been jumping between Synthetics uh, network and Kyber Network. They keep kind of challenging each other for who's on top one week, you know. Synthetics will be up a little bit more than Kyber and then Kyber jumps up a little bit. But Kyber currently is my number one performer. 
Uh, it's completely outclassed Bitcoin and Ethereum and even Chainlink and, and everything. It's done really, really well, but Synthetix is a very close second. So I'm really happy with these two, and I really like Kyber Network, and I really like what they stand for as well. Great protocol. I think the 7th of July, they finally get their... Uh, Whoa, what's the word I'm looking for? It's completely slipped my mind right now. Uh, staking. Staking will be evolved. So you'll be able to stake your Kyber network and they're actually going to pay you out in Ethereum. So that doesn't sound too bad to me at all and I'm really looking forward to that. So another one of uh, the ones I've gotten into that I really like are Carver. Loving uh, what Carver has done so far. Now I haven't been able to stake uh, any BN, uh, sorry, not stake BNB, but uh, kind of bank the BNB with them. I've just been staking my Carver, and I'm pretty happy with the returns in that. So I really need to uh, get onto Carver a little bit more, not get onto them, but work out how uh, I can basically bank the BNB with Carver and earn an interest return. I think I need to get the Cosmopolitan wallet or something like that. So again, I've got to do a little bit more research, but just the staking of Carver in general. Been really happy with that. Uh, you know, I've been getting some uh, good returns from that already. So I will continue to, uh, yeah, keep an eye on Carver and see how they're doing it. And, and I'll be sticking with them, you know, again, unless some major bug happens. And I know that has been uh, some things that have kind of prevented uh, BNB from rolling out to, rolled out to some other wallets from what I've seen is there have been some bugs in the system. So they've sort of delayed uh, the major release uh, of uh, investing your BNB with Carver. But you know what? I don't have a problem with that at all because that shows that they're actually really serious about their platform and they don't want to put it out with any problems. So yeah, loving what Carver's doing. Keep up the good work. Ave. So another one uh, that's doing really, really well for me. Uh, I haven't done any of the investing with Ave yet. It's really just I've bought the the coin and I've been sitting on it for a little while uh, there's only so much time in the day I have a full-time job that I have to do and uh, things like that so I don't have time to just solely be into the crypto but I really like uh, what Ave has done from some of the videos I've seen uh, other people put up on YouTube and the forums and things that I've read Ave is something that uh, I'm going to look more into uh, and start to yeah invest through the Ave system loving it loving it loving it Loving all of DeFi at the moment. But, you know, who knows? We'll have to wait and see, you know. Hopefully it keeps going and, you know, right through the next kind of peak and, you know, can make some really good gains. And another one that I'm really liking as well, uh, Ren. Ren Protocol uh, has been doing uh, reasonably well for me as well. So these are kind of my top DeFi projects that I've invested in at the moment. Uh, I'm looking into some of the other ones, uh, but again, I, I need to get some more information on them. And I am not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to run out and put any money into these. You need to make your own decisions and do some research for yourself and work out if these are for you. And this is just my opinion. And as, I, as I've said before, uh, my channel is all about my journey through the cryptocurrency uh, sort of sphere, uh, space, whatever you want to call it. So these are the things that I'm getting into uh, and really interested in. Again, do your own research. If you think this is for you, Go on, put a couple of dollars in, see what happens, who knows. But investing is risky full stop and most certainly uh, investing in new sort of industries, i.e. cryptocurrencies, uh, can be quite risky uh, and particularly new protocols that haven't stood the test of time and things like that. So, you know, you got to be willing to lose what you put in. Uh, but, you know, I've taken the jump some money in put my money where my mouth is as they say uh, and we'll see how it goes so anyway that's my video today uh, this is where I think the biggest gains will come from again unless there's some major kind of hiccup with DeFi in this next bull run I think this is where uh, the big money the big gains are going to come from just my opinion though we'll have to wait and see I could be proven to be completely wrong something new might come and hit the scene you know, Compound just brought their coin out not long ago and that pumped through the absolute roof. I think it went up like 2,000% or something. But again, now it's starting to retrace pretty heavily. So, yep, that's my video from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you didn't lose too much or maybe even made a little bit of profit today. And I'll see you next time. I'm out.